holy children in the world, this is your Father in Heaven speaking with you now. I love you my children, I adore you, I thank you for all that you are doing in my name. For my honour, praise and glory, I love you my children. I am not angry with you. I desire to love you eternally, for I created you to be one with me. You are beautiful in my sights, my children. You are all individually created, unique in every way. You reflect my love, my glory, my image. You are all created in my image, my children. I pour forth different aspects of my love, my character, my personality, who I am through each individual child on the earth. You are all an expression of your God. You are all part of me, designed by me, for my specific plans and purposes in the world. My children, I live through you. I am one with you. I express every part of who I am in ways which is unique and individual for each living person throughout history. If you were to combine every human person together from the beginning to the end, there is your God. Every part of me is in every person. Every person is beautiful made in my image and reflects a part of who I am, a small part of who I am, my thoughts, my love, my hopes, my dreams for humanity are all reflected through each individual person and as a whole, as a whole of humanity you become me, become one with me who I am, reflecting who I am on the earth. Do you understand my children? You are all a tiny piece of who I am, the great I am. You know me, for I live within you. I am you, I am part of you. But I have also given you all a choice to know me or reject me, my children. I will not force you to love me. Those who are alive with my Holy Spirit, who have received the forgiveness of their souls through my Son's Holy Blood, who are filled with my Spirit and walk in my ways and hear my voice and feel my presence and know me intimately express the fullness of who I am. But those who choose to walk their own way, who walk the world's path, who do not know me, who do not care for me, for my will and purposes in your life, who reject me and walk their own way, they do not reflect who I am. They reflect the ways of the world, the selfish nature. They do not change or conform to the likeness and image of their God. And they suffer eternally for their decision. For one cannot be completely happy, set free, filled with my love and hope and joy if one rejects their very creator, the essence of who they are. Your spirit comes alive when you re recognize me, my children, when you become one with me. Your spirit comes alive, you are filled with passion and desire and joy and hope. And I place my will and desires in your heart and you know and recognize them. And I help you, my children, I provide all your needs, 
because I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. If you walk in my ways and my will, then all things fall into your lap. I prepare a way for you, my child. I clear the way. But if you choose to walk your own way, then hardship befalls you, suffering, pain, depression, anxiety, fear. I cannot help you, my children, if you will not receive me, if you will not see me. If you refuse to believe in my ways, my love, my spirit, my eternal spirit. I want to help you, my children. Come to me this day. I want to love you and adore you. I want to lead and guide you. I want to reveal to you your purpose in creation the tiny part of me in you. I want you to feel me living within you, becoming one with me, having the mind of Christ, the words of the Spirit, the direction of my Holy Ghost. I want you to know why I created you, what part of me you express in the world, who you are in Christ, I have so much to offer you, my children, so many things to give you, to show you, to reveal the mysteries, so many mysteries. I wish to speak with you one-on-one, -on -one, my children. I wish to open your eyes to my creation, to my eternal realms, to my heavenly realms. I wish to take you in deeper, further than you have ever been before. I wish to dance with you in glory, for you to see my face, to love me, to praise my holy name. You are a part of me, my child. You, you, you contain a tiny part of who I am. You express who I am. I created you for a reason unique and individual to express a tiny piece of me in the world and to do something that only you can do to be yourself my child to be who I created you to be do not conform to the ways of the world my child to the standards of others for I have come to set you free. I have come to see you dance again, to lift you up on high, to be your God, your creator, your father. I love you this day, my child, eternally. We are one together, one in spirit and truth, now and forever. Amen.